using the mountain golem for the first time. Is it OP? Watch now to find out. Welcome back to the Clash Tips YouTube channel. It is Raid Weekend, Raid Weekend, Raid Weekend. I love Raid Weekend, and there are a few things that I've learned. All the Raid Weekends that I've been doing this is that, number one, you still need to use barbs to test for traps. Like, that needs, no matter what attack strategy you use, that needs to be number one on the list. And number two, sneaky archers are the most dependable troop. They are also, simultaneously, the most boring troop that you can use on Raid Weekends, but they're very dependable. So I still use Sneaky Archers from time to time, but if you listen to last week's podcast, you know that I had a discussion with Trample Damage about enjoying the Raid Weekend and not letting it be boring and trying new stuff like the Swizz G attack strategy. Supercell actually made that change to where the Rocket Artillery will not wipe out your super wizards with one hit. So I figured if you have a base where everything is just kind of clumped up together like it is on this base, and if you throw down a heal spell in the right spot, and then if your giants kind of continue in front of them, then a Swiss G attack should completely tear up, right? And that's pretty much what did. I actually got this base down in two hits. I wanted to experiment a little bit with my second hit at the same time. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's coming up here in just a little bit. You're about to see it. But I wanted to do something other than just sneaky archers because sneaky archers are so boring. This right here was OP. I, I sent that battering ram into the other wall, but because that other wall was already broken, it went to the wall that was closest, which was super far away. So anyway, I used the snarch slew attack on this one, sneaky archers and loons. Yes, I did come up with that name on my own, but I wanted to get rid of that those air bombs because air bombs completely obliterate my rocket loons. And then I figured I could get those rocket loons in on that rocket artillery super quick because if you look at it, the rocket artillery, whenever they shoot, it takes a long time for that bullet or bomb or whatever you call it to reach its target. And I figured that my rocket loons could kind of out distance it. So that is what happened. Uh, I was able to heal up my rocket loons. They took out that, those rapid rockets. I only have the spear throwers left. Will it make it? So I threw in some sneaky archers to help out. And there is one rocket loon left. And that is the most OP rocket loon. I doubled its salary for the week. He's making more money than he's ever made before because that rocket loon was OP on this attack. So that was base number one that I was able to take down in two hits. And then I did another one that actually took me three hits, which kind of sucked, but it is what it is. So whenever you see the entry like this, it, it just sucks. I mean, there's no way around it. Super boring. You got to use barbs and archers. If you have this little section that's kind of walled off by the walls, then you got to use sneaky archers so that way they can get over the walls. You can do a little fancy snarch loo action like we did before, but honestly, this part is going to be boring no matter how you do it because you got to use a battering ram here and there. You got to use an archer here and there. You got to use your barbarian so that way you can get in, so that way you don't get trapped to death. And then, of course, on this, I used my rocket loons because I wanted to do a little snarch loo. And as far as the setup process goes, wasn't too bad. Uh, one thing that I was able to do was I was able to separate the base into two sections. One thing that this base builder did do well was they completely compartmentalized defenses. So that way one spell couldn't cover a huge ton of the base. But anyway, this second attack is the one that I really want you to watch because this is the OP Mountain Golem. And oh my gosh, he is amazing. This is the first time that I've used him. He takes absolutely zero strategy. Zero. None. Nada. Zilch. No strategy. You put him down. <laughs> you put him down. You throw down a rage spell and you just watch him go to town. Now, I guess a strategy that you could use is if you wanted, while the Super Golem is tanking, if you can pick off a few defenses or buildings with some sneaky archers, that's actually what I did with that blast bow earlier. Not sure if you saw that. That was my OP strategy skills. But as far as strategy goes, 
yeah, that's about it. The only time that a mountain golem really makes sense is when you have a big wide open space like this where he can just go from building to building and not really be hindered by walls at all. Uh, at all. You can always take your battering rams, that way it opens up the base for him. But you can see that's about how long he lasted. I mean, that rage spell's still there. We're not gonna be able to use it next attack because there's nothing left since the mountain golem took everything down. Of course, we have these OP archers taking down these last few buildings. But then with this last attack that I was able to clean up and triple the base with, I went ahead and went with Pekka Smash. I debated on whether or not to go with a rage or with a heal. In the end, I went with a heal. This jump spell versus lightning debate is one that's super interesting. I, I go back and forth between whether or not it's better to take a couple of lightning spells or whether to take a jump. My clan tends to take jumps and I'm starting to believe that maybe that's a better option just because typically the defender has all their defenses spread out and your lightning spells are kind of crap, to be honest with you. They don't really do a lot. And in this case, I, I mean, I have my Pekka's here and they just, they tear up. I, I don't need any wimpy lightning spells to, to take down anything or to weaken anything up because those Pekka's are just going to town. Anyway, this was my raid weekend. It was a lot more fun than last weekend because last week I, I used mostly sneaky archers. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think. Thanks so much for watching.